Are you seeing spirals or fractals, sacred geometries, vortexes? Maybe you're seeing things in particles or sparkles of light. You're not going to believe what all this means today on Earth 1111. Hey, how you doing? It's Roxanne from Earth 1111. I do videos on everything from awakening, ascension, enlightenment. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell. And please share this video with as many people as you can. Let's try to spread the light when right now the world is at its darkest. Are you seeing spirals, fractals, sacred geometries, spinning energy, maybe different shapes, grids? sparkles of light or haze what is going on is you have become multi-dimensional you have integrated enough light that you are now existing from a higher dimension but really multi-dimensions all, all at once so when you start seeing these different shapes um, in your vision in in everyday life and they could be coming from a light source, like a light, or they could be coming from just with you looking out at something where you're seeing things shape shift with fractals or grids or light sparkles. Now, the reason for this is because you have embodied enough light that you are now seeing beyond the 3D metaphor or the 4D astral plane, for example. The 3D, 4D planes of existence are what we perceive things as humanoid beings or we see things as third dimensional shapes we see beings higher dimensional beings whether they are angels galactics aliens power animals elementals gods goddesses the list goes on we see them in their true form which is a sacred geometry or a grid of light, or a spiral, or an orb. So these are all the real ways of seeing. This is what these beings actually look like. But when we are in a third dimensional realm, when we exist solely from 3D, 4D realms, we typically, if we channel or get any, any type of clairvoyance, we will see these beings as humanoid beings. You know, angels might be a humanoid looking being, but might have wings. So things like that, we start seeing beyond the metaphor. Because the metaphor exists in 3D, 4D realms in order for, to make sense of things. When we go beyond that, we see things in their pure essence form, which is light, geometries. So everything is a spiral of light showcasing different grids and geometries so this is happens when for example you're looking at a bird all of a sudden the whole scene that you're looking at you, it starts shape shifting and spiraling and eventually you get a massive vortex coming off that bird towards you that is the fifth dimensional zero point realm and beyond but that is the fractal you were observing you are observing beyond the veil. On these video clips I'm showing you while I'm talking, um, of course these were filmed with a camera. These are portals I've opened up in different areas in the earth grid, connecting the sun to the earth grid through these vortexes. So as you can see, these are spiraling vortexes coming down through the different layers and you can see the different colors the different layers are are the different dimensions dimensions are round and spherical it usually begins by looking up at the sky and you start seeing little tiny flashes of sparkles or light just little tiny ones the odd time and eventually you start seeing beyond that so the flat sky the, the flat looking sky that you typically have always seen ends up becoming where you see things as particles you might see haze because you're seeing infinite dimensions so you're seeing veil after veil after veil you're seeing multi multi-dimensional but you're seeing 
multiple dimensions all at once, which is why you see that haze looking. Everything looks beyond 3D. When you're looking out at a scene, instead of seeing something as, you know, really 2D, you're, I mean, you're kind of looking out, out at like a picture. And of course we have depth, so we see it in 3D, but really what you're seeing now is all that space, all that light streaming down through the sun and from the cosmos into the earth grid. You're seeing beyond the realms. So you start seeing almost like you're, you can see the air, the particles of everything. Everything starts becoming quantum, which is you're seeing things as particles and not solid objects. So you're seeing every single atomic spin all at once, which is that shape-shifting light sparkles that you're seeing. And when things are really dense, if, if, if you have a lot of bends in your energy field, you're quite, you're in an environment that's dense or has a lot of emotional baggage or thought forms, things like that, density, then you could also see a lot of haze. Things look hazy. It's hard to see. Um, you start thinking, whoa, there's something wrong with my eyes. Am I going blind? Well, no, you're just seeing multi layers. And when things are really dense, there's so many extra um, just things in between those layers, all the different bends. So you start seeing so many different layers upon layers upon layers. It looks like haze and it, it looks darker. And when things are really clear, when your channel is clear, when you are healthy and vibrant and a high, in a high dimension, anchored in zero point, without a lot of extra thoughts going on in your mind or emotions in your field or density or toxins, then you'll see things a lot more clear. And this is where you start seeing things as ridiculously detailed grids, shape-shifting, moving, spiraling. You might see an expansion, almost like a permanent explosion. So it looks like energy is moving away from you. And when you see the spiral, that's energy moving towards you, grounding into you. Expansion is the explosion looking light that we see. And the spiral, the vortex moving, shape shifting is the contraction when you bring energy towards your center point, grounding it into your heart and into the earth grid. So when you're at this level, typically you've already been channeling or you may have been channeling and, and seeing beings as humanoid or seeing things as physical beings. But now you're beyond that. Now you're seeing, you are becoming those higher dimensions. You are becoming those divine beings because everything out there is just inside your DNA, inside you. But when you're separate from something, you observe it as a separate being coming to you in your field and talking to you or showing you message or whatever. But when you embody those beings, you are them. So now you are the grid, you are the spiral, the fractal, multi fractals of everything. So when you start really anchoring, and again, this will happen in more advanced stages of ascension. Um, you might be embodying enough where you have completed physical body ascension that is where you no longer have really you're no longer a physical body you're the unified grid with a body in your field so it becomes very hard and difficult to get in the body to be thoroughly in the body aligned properly and again that will be for another video because you are now a spiral a vortex a torus field you have a huge gravitational pull and you pull light towards yourself from all different sources you are the gravity you're your, your own force of gravity so you essentially almost like a black hole you suck in light towards you let me know if you're seeing the sparkles yet or any type of grids um, this can really happen as well after meditation or during meditation or also when you're waking up out of a dream, sacred geometrical shapes, you will come out of it. And that shows what realm, what quantum realm you were journeying through when you're sleeping. 
because we all when we're sleeping we do infinite healing on our own levels as well as the levels of the universe so the collective on the level of the galaxy the level of the dna infinite realms macrocosmically which means expansively and microcosmically which means contraction deeper and deeper smaller and smaller particle level journeying or massive journeying through stars or galaxies so you are well on your ascension path if you're seeing spirals particles grids fractals all this type of stuff is magical and it will evolve with you when your light body evolves and your torus field gets stronger and more evolved you will these grids and these different things you're seeing will shape shift and become different change they're changing with you but congratulate yourself you've made it to an advanced level you're never done because the evolutionary process of ascension is never finished but you can know that you've reached a level of light body embodiment so you've embodied a lot of your oversoul so you you are existing beyond now just embodying your higher self you have embodied multiple selves this, this ends up becoming our multi-dimensional self we have infinite selves that we are merging with and until we become a massive imploding and exploding torus field that goes on forever infinitely so thanks so much for watching the video please like it and share the video with as many people as you can i really appreciate that comment and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already i'll be talking about many different things coming up and you don't want to miss out thanks for watching earth 1111 i'm roxanne we'll see you soon bye bye